Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, welcome and thank you for watching. Uh, today I wanna to talk to you about staging your cat style tourniquets. This is before your your buttstock, this is for your body armor, this is for pouches and any of the gear that you may put tourniquets on. This is the best way I've found to do it and I wanted to disseminate that information to you. Now, if you've never seen it done, folding up a tourniquet for easy deployment and for uh, quick use can be a bit of a puzzle. You have a lot of length that you're folding and then you're folding again and folding again, and things like that. And, uh, so hopefully this makes it a bit easier for you. This is a Recon Medical, I think Gen 4 is what they call it aluminum windlass, all that stuff. Uh, these are extremely high quality tourniquets. I've been using them for a long time. Uh, and I'm getting ready to replace the tourniquet that's in my 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 Recon Medical tourniquet that's in my Live the Creed uh, pouch here because being exposed the way it is and as much work as I do on the ground and things like that, it's gotten pretty tore up so it's time to change it out. Your tourniquets don't last forever. So when Recon sends these out, the timestamp is already pulled back like this, but if you haven't done it yet, you want to pull your timestamp from here back to here. That, is, that just means one less step in order to be able to use your tourniquet. Uh, you, in a panicking mode, you don't want to have to try to fiddle and, you know, Get your fingers to find a little edge of the velcro to peel it open and to you know do all that stuff now you have all of this material here to do something with how do you fold it up what i'm going to do here is in the buckle i'm going to pull it put it through the buckle and the way recon stitching is i they it i don't know if they did it intentionally or not but i put it to where the uh, stitching right below the thumb loop is just above the buckle like so so that's about four inches or so beyond the buckle to the red tab and then I'm going to pull it I'm gonna have it upright like this what I'm gonna call upright I'm gonna have it upright like this I'm gonna pull it flat like so and then I'm going to take just for, for this particular tourniquet, it's going to be just this side of the red tab, but I'm gonna take that same four inches or so, fold it up until it meets, until it basically meets the bottom of the buckle here, until it's in line with it, and then fold it once again. And that leaves your tourniquet in a nice, compact, ready to go staging and ready to deploy when necessary. And it is at this point that you go through and you stick it in your pouches, in your shot cord, in your rubber bands, however it is that you place it on your piece of kit. But that's just a real quick video on staging tourniquets ready to go, uh, as opposed to having everything folded over and maybe this thing not folded, you know, pulled too tight or loose too loose and things like that. Or some people may not have it in there at all. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. That is it for staging your tourniquets. Uh, this is for this cat style tourniquet. Um, the I don't suggest the uh, Chinese tourniquets that you can get for like $4 a piece or $5 a piece or whatever on Amazon. Recon Medical sells absolute highest quality uh, stuff and their their tourniquets are second to none. I highly suggest these especially for the price However, if you're a North American rescue guy that likes the cat tourniquet the actual cat tourniquets go for it Those are awesome tourniquets as well. Thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to hit like share and subscribe Leave a comment down below. I'm not interested in arguing this versus cat. I'm not interested in it and uh, I don't really I'm not I'm not going to engage down in the chat room to everybody else out there If you want to support the channel patreon is the easiest way to do that uh, you get a number of perks with patreon as well as 
extra entries into giveaways that I have coming up very soon, as well as Patreon-only content, Patreon-only giveaways, and sneak previews and various other Patreon-only stuff. To my patrons, you guys are awesome. Really couldn't do this without you. Thank you guys so much for your support and to everybody else out there that re regularly watches and supports the channel, thank you as well. And we'll talk to you guys later.